Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm really liking seeing some of these different characters from the Hungry Shark World game, and I had a lot of fun drawing the Shark Jira. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw Mecha Shark Jira. And if you guys have any other different characters that you want me to try to draw, make sure you let me know because I'm not too familiar with a lot of these characters and I'd love to try some different ones. But I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with our Mecha Shark Jira, we're going to begin with the face. And we're going to start right up here. I'm going to begin by just making a little line that's going to come down at a diagonal. We'll bring it down here. Then we're going to come back up here. I'm going to bring this line up and then we'll connect it just like that. So it's almost like a rectangle with a little bit of a corner taken off. Now, starting here, we're going to make a little line that's going to come down. It's going to come to a point and we're going to bring it back like this. Then we're going to bring this line all the way to here. Almost so it kind of lines up with this little corner right here. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up. And I'm going to curve this line down here. Right here, I'm going to make a little oval shape for the eye. And then right over here, we're going to make a line that goes over and then down. Starting right here, we'll make a little line that curves up and down. I'm going to go up at an angle, and another one right here just to connect it that goes up and down. Starting here, we're going to make a little line that goes out. I'm going to bring this up, and we're going to take it down to here. Right side of here, let's make a circle with another smaller circle inside of it. Then right here, we're going to make a line that's going to come down just a little bit. Then we're going to go down to here. I'm going to angle this one out. Then we're going to bring it straight across and up to that circle. We'll make a little line that goes down, and it's going to come up and over to here. Now, starting here, we're going to make a little line that goes across. I'll make a line that's going to come straight up. It's going to come over. We'll go up. I'm going to bring it back. And we're going to bring this down and connect it. And we'll put a little line right here. I'm going to draw two lines in here with a little rectangle shape on each one. Now, starting right up here, we're going to work on the body. I'm going to make a little diagonal line here. I'm going to draw a line that comes down here, and we're going to come right here to diagonal. Right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come across. And then I'm going to bring it down and over just a little bit. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a line that goes down, over, and up, and I'll connect it. It's kind of like a little square or rectangle shape. I'm going to make a little line that goes up, over, and then down right on top of it. Little line that goes up and down 
for kind of like two skinny rectangle shapes. And then we're going to put a circle shape right inside of here to kind of form the arm. Put a little line right across. Next, starting here, I'm going to make a line that goes over. It's going to come up. It's going to curve around and come back down. Starting here, we're going to make a line that goes down, over, and up. I'll make a circle shape right here with a little, two lines that come down and a curved line to connect them. Next, I'll make two little lines that are going to come out here and we'll curve them just to connect them, put another little line there. Starting here, we're going to add another circle shape with a little line that's going to go up. It's going to curve and come right to here. Now, starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up and down. We'll make another line that goes down here. I'll make this one pointy, and then we're going to go up and then come back and then up to here. Do the same thing here. We're going to go up down and then bring it right to here. Starting here, we're going to go a little lower than this line. I'm going to make a line that goes over. I'm going to curve this one and I'm going to make it nice and skinny as it comes down to here. Now starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to come up. It's going to go over, I'll leave a little bit of space. We're going to come over here and we're going to go down. Make a nice diagonal line and bring it down to here. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come across. And I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and then it's going to curve up to here. Right here, we're going to make a half circle and a little line that's going to go down, over, and then up. With two lines coming down here. Over here, I'm going to make a little rectangle shape. And I'm going to make another line that goes over, down, and it's going to come in. We'll put a little line right there. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down, over, and up. We'll add a little partial circle shape here. I'm going to make a line that goes over. It's going to come up. We'll go out and curve around and bring it back here for part of the leg. We'll add a little circle shape in here. Starting here for the foot, I'm going to make a line that goes down and another one right here. We're going to go down and over. I'll make a nice line that comes down, I'll leave some space and then connect it here. And I'll put a little rectangle shape right in here. Over here we'll make a diagonal line that goes up and another one that goes up and then down. We'll make a little line here and I'm going to make a little shark fin shape on the back with a line that connects it. And right here I'm just going to make a line that goes down and then up. We'll put another one here, down and up for the foot. Now, starting here, we're going to make a little line that goes over. I'm going to make a line that goes down, over, and up. We'll make a little line that comes across, and then we'll leave it empty in there, because we're going to put some spikes across there. I'll make another little line that comes over. And down here, I'm going to make a little line that goes over. I'm going to go up, over, down, and then connect it. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that goes down. It's going to come in. We're going to go down and over. Next, we're going to go up and over. 
and I'll bring a line that comes up and over and one that comes over here. And we'll leave that little space in there. I will bring this line over. Right here we're going to make a line that goes up, over, and then down. Two little lines in here, and then we'll leave it empty in there. Starting here, I'm going to make a little line and a little line here. We'll make another shape that goes down and in. We'll go down, over, and up. Over, up, and we'll leave a little space right there. I'm going to bring this line up. And then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. I'm going to go over just a bit, and I'm going to put a line that goes down, over, and up. And a little pointy line right here. Next, we'll make a little line that comes down. I'm going to draw a little line that goes up, over, it's going to go down, and then over. Make a little line that goes down, and then I'm just going to curve this around and bring this in for the end of the tail. Okay, now I want to add some more details on here. So he's got some different fins and spikes on here. I'm going to make a line that goes out, it's going to come over. We're going to go out, over, and then we're going to bring it down and connect to here. Then we'll put another one that goes up, over, and down. Then I like to add a little extra line right around here just to make it look 3D. Right here we're going to make a line that goes up, over, down, and over. And you can see the bottom's a little bit bigger than the top. I'll do another one here. Once again, I made that bottom a little bigger than the top. Another one here. And we'll do another one right here. And I'm also going to put two on here. So we'll make one here and one right here. Now, on the top, he's got some other details. So starting right here, I'm going to begin by making a circle. And I'm going to put a little line through it. I'll make a little rectangle shape that goes over, and it's going to come down here. I'll make a little line on here, and then a little half circle right there. Well, the little line's going to come up and then back here. Next right here, we're going to make a line that goes over and up. It's going to come back. We're going to go down, out, and then bring it to here. We'll make a little line that goes over. Then I'll add a big circle, a medium circle, and a little tiny circle inside of it. Up here on top, we're going to make a line that goes out. We're going to go up, over, and down. I'm going to bring this one out, and we're going to come down, over, and up. I'm going to bring it over to here and just connect it. Right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down, over, and then run it right to there. I'll make a big circle in here with a smaller circle right there. Right on top here, we're going to make a line that's going to go up, and it's going to come down for his fin. Right across his back, he's going to have a few more fins right on the top. I'm going to make one that's going to go up. It's going to go over and down. We'll do another one here, up, over, and down. And one more here, up, over, and down. And I'm going to put a skinny little rectangle inside of each one. Show that it's open in there. Right here, he's going to have some big fins for his tail, so we're going to make a line that's going to go up and over. It's going to come down and angle in. Same thing here, we're going to go down a little smaller, over, we're going to go up and angle in. Right 
right across here, we're going to make a little line that comes down. And I'm going to just draw a few lines that are going to come right down here. And we're just going to draw these all along the back here. Then we'll put some of those little rectangle shapes on here. These are going to be colored in a little bit different color when we begin our coloring part. I'm going to put two little lines here and two little lines over here. I'll make a couple little quick lines on here just to show some detail. Right up here we're going to make a little rectangle shape too. Now up on top of this head we're going to make a line that's going to curve back and then it's going to come down here for a fin and a little line right here. I'm also going to make a little line that's going to go up and over and a little line that's going to come up, over, and then down. We also want to add the teeth, so I'm going to put a couple little triangle shapes in here on the top and just a couple on the bottom. We'll make a little line right here and a couple little rectangle shapes over here. And then right underneath this arm, we're going to add another little detail. We're going to make lines that's going to go down and then over. We're going to make this come down and then over here. Make a little point on here. And I'm just going to color in a few little black dots on here. And I'll put one little line coming right down here. And there you go. There is your drawing of Mecha Shark Jira. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.